Anastasia, welcome back to Melbourne and congratulations, a great result over at the US Open. How did that uh, happen for you? Uh, thanks. Um, yeah, I think it was, uh, it was a pretty good result. I qualified and I won two rounds in main draw. Unfortunately, I lost in the third. I, I was hoping to do a little bit better in that match. But, you know, it's... Uh, I think it's a it's a good result overall, and I feel like I'm finally back playing good tennis again. Because it took uh, it took me some time to get back on tour and and to get back to the level I played before the surgery. So yeah, I, f- I feel good and everything is great. Great, we know the the number 23 in the world, Sabine Laziki. Does that give you a lot of confidence that you can match up with these girls right up the top? Yeah, I feel like I I can play against these girls, and I mean, obviously, I did I, I beat her, and uh, yeah, it's I think it's gonna give me a lot of confidence, and hopefully, I'll I'll be even higher players. And this time last year, of course, you you were injured and you're in having surgery. So, how much of it has it taken you this long to get back to full fitness? Yeah, it was uh, some tournaments I was feeling fine. You know, one day you wake up and you're just sore and you can't really do anything. You have no idea why it's happening. But it, right now, I've been told that it's going to take about a, about a year. So it is a year now and, uh, yeah, I feel good. And it's it's a very big difference the way I feel on the court because if, you, if you're 100% healthy, you feel confident and you feel like you can beat anybody. How high do you think you can go in the rankings? Uh, well, I hope to get to top 50 by the end of the year but uh, we'll see you know it's step by step just much by much and you know it's I try to do everything I can to play my best tennis and uh, we'll see and what are the next tournaments you're going to play towards the end of the year leading into the Australian summer um, I'm going to play about five more tournaments uh, this year it's Tokyo Beijing and a few other ones um, and uh, before Australian Open I hope I'll be playing uh, Brisbane, uh, Sydney, Hobart and, of course, Australian Open. And good news about the changes to the citizenship laws, hopefully. What would that mean to you if you one day get to represent Australia? Well, it's uh, it's great news. I, I really hope that I'll be able to get Australian citizenship soon and I will be able to represent Australia, not only the Grand Slam, but any any other tournament, especially uh, Fed Cup and Olympics. You know, it's that's what I've been working for for the last few years, and I'm I'm really excited. And it's uh, you know, it's it's tough to explain because it, it's I've been waiting for so long, and and I feel like it's so close. But you know, when I have it in my hands, I think that's gonna I gonna really feel happy. <laughs> And there's so many Australian women doing well now in the rankings. There's a big group of them pushing through. How important is it for you to be part of that? Yeah, you know, Sam Stosser is doing really well this year and uh, she did semi-final at French Open. You know, it's a, it's a great achievement and I, I hope she'll be able to get into a championship by the end of the year. Um, yeah, it's it feels good. You know, all the girls, been like a lot of girls been playing well and yeah, it's, it's nice to be part of it. And tell us about the work you do here at Guide Dogs Victoria. Have you been here much before? Yeah, I've been here a couple of times, and you know, I love I love dogs. So I love playing with puppies, and they, they're so cute. Yeah, it's uh, well, it's I've, I was amazed first time when I actually saw what the guide dog can do and how how they can change the life of people who has problems with vision. So yeah, I just I, I I'm happy to be part of it, and I'm happy. I hope that I can uh, help uh, Guide Dogs Victoria to to aware uh, people of what they do, and hopefully they can because of that they can uh, have they can raise more great dogs and we can help the people. What's the best part of coming down here? <sighs> play with play with puppies. <laughs> it was about six of them today. Yeah, I had so much fun, and I really want to take one home, but. I can't. I can't do it yet. As soon as, as soon as I finish my tennis career, I'm getting the dog next day. <laughs> Would you like a Labrador or another type of puppy? Um, Labrador. I, I like Labradors. Maybe, maybe, but I'm not sure. I didn't think about it yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, good to hear. We're well, doing a great job on and off the court. Keep it up, and good luck over the summer. Thanks very much.